Hello, brown coats. And coming back. Ready to continue exploring the stars. Everything's so new here. In Starfield. Alright, now I have been up to a bunch of stuff because this revelation one, considering how they were talking, they'll wait for me forever or till it's time, and it's like they already said that they just repeat in the multiple universes. That seems like the end game quest. I want to leave that alone. I don't want to touch that. Not now. I mean, I have all of these quests. There's probably more that just exploring will do, and I want to go through that first. And quite honestly, I'm not playing... When I'm done... When I this series is actually done, I'm not playing do New Game Plus. I'm going to start a fresh character and go that way. Uh, I've mainly been going to uh, gain experience by either crafting... Since I've been upping my uh, weapon engineering, I need one more perk to pop this one up, and then I can do some other things. Uh, but most of my levels have come from taking the uh, free st free star rangers little mission board. I just take all four of them that are there, go clear them all out, loop everything I can, uh, weapons and armor that they're carrying, blow up the ships sell it all and that and the, the reason i'm right here is for two one business is switching to stroud england it just one is sense. a quest where this is the is something else oh he's here and well, i, I want to find we have some tempting options for you yeah yeah i if you need anything just ask i like the view on my my, my my ships oh you've come to the right place i've done it and this is about as close as i'm I think I'm able to get basically a Starfield based Serenity. Uh, there really isn't much in the way of being able to make a rounded hull or even angled up, like the angle up neck of the Firefly class Serenity. I try to keep the head pretty much as close as possible. Uh, it's a longer body, three levels. You have basically entrance level. There really isn't much down there, mainly because, uh, I mean, th there really isn't. I mean, I have a storage compartment. That's about it. Oh, no, no, go back. I gotta show Stroud it. Stroud Eklund may be new. Let's get you set up. Here, here we go. There we go. I mean, all that is is just a spot to hold, to fill it out. I have the three main engines. I I was able to use the docking station, the cowling to give like the back hump of Serenity. Uh, the neck, which was a pretty much a catwalk, I made into is a control station, so I can have more crew stations. I tried to add a second one so I could have max crew of at least eight, because. You know, Captain plus the rest, but I can't get past six. Some, something's up with that, don't know. Maybe it's, like, there's crew capacity on these things, on the engines and things like that. So I don't know what's going on. I'll have to, I may have to read up on that. But right now I can only have six on the ship, but I also found out my skills. I have, I can only have three until I start leveling up, like, tier, tier four or social skills. Uh, I have cargo pretty much lined up on the edge here. I can hold a lot. I have shielded cargo on both sides. And I found that... Uh, I went to Red Mile just to pick up, like, the little fetch quest. And they had, like, the scanner jammer that was right there. Because I might as well check their dockyard. I have an amazing uh, reactor, which is giving me 34. And I got... I picked up one crew member, which is technically giving me one more. One more on top of it. Uh, they wouldn't let me have four legs like this with this weight. And I couldn't buy more for some reason. So I have one of these, which is strong. Probably the strongest type there is. And would be more enough for the ship, but I want front legs too. Uh, I have two proton beam cannons. One, one Gauss cannon and one EM. Don't really use the Gauss, but that is... Uh, I have living quarters, which is basically where the lounge and kitchen and dining room were. I have uh, a workshop, basically because of the engine. Uh, I didn't really have room to do an infirmary. 
I have the captain's quarters and the uh, all-in-one berth. Basically, the bed bedroom level is underneath this one. So that's the best I could pull off. And these two little rounded things up here is the fuel. <laughs> so and my shields are insane. It's 1,600 just for this unit. And then I have the skill that gives another 60% six, on. So it's crazy. All right. Now, I'm also here for a quest. Uh, the companion... The... Basically, Stroud sent me here to hurry on a development thing he's going on. Hello. So I'm going to be working on that first. Hi there. Uh, I'm here to speak to you about a new ship project. You must be Walter's colleague. Yes. He informed me that you'd be taking charge of Project Kepler despite the fact that we have a fully dedicated R&D staff already assigned to it. But what? that's okay. I'm sure that even though you have virtually no experience with this, you'll do a great job. Actually, I have plenty of experience designing starships. Oh. <laughs> uh, I just assumed. You know what? I'm really sorry. I should trust Walter knew what he was doing. My bad. Even so, we have plenty of designers. As you probably know, we're tasked with coming up with Strout Eklund's next hit starship. But we have budget concerns, market research to finish, and we can't seem to agree on a design. So I guess Walter sent you to resolve these issues. Yes. How about it? I feel the process. Let's get to it. <laughs> ah, right. So you mentioned. Let's move on to solving our budget issues then, shall we? We were charged with building the newest, hottest ship on the market, which won't be possible unless we petition the board for more money. So we have two new budget proposals. One will allow us to build what I consider to be a very sensible ship, but we'll have to make some tough design cuts. The other will allow us much more flexibility to put whatever we want into the ship. It's what I call the kitchen sink proposal. I don't love it, but it'll be next to impossible to approve. What should we go with? Uh, smaller budget to help it focus on design. Stick with that. Uh, we can build whatever we want with a larger budget. Let's go with that. Uh, harder to prove. Why can't you use the original budget you were given? I'd love to. Seriously. It would be a huge win for us if we came in under or at that budget. But none of the viable designs for this project can be made for that amount. I've already rejected that budget, so I have to go to the board regardless. And since you're now responsible for the major decisions, which budget proposal we go with falls on you. All right. What kind of cuts do we have to make for the sensible it's design? It's more that we can only choose certain design elements at the expense of others. In other words, if we go with something in Mike's design, there's not enough money in the budget for what Ella wants. That's one of the reasons we haven't been able to agree on anything. Seriously? All right. What's wrong with and sync budget when everyone get what While they While it's true we'd be able to afford to put anything and everything into that design, it's just not practical. And the board will put more pressure on us to see that it succeeds. I worry that without constraints, my team will be disincentivized to focus the ship in any given direction. And they'll try to cram in everything but the kitchen sink, hence the name. Who knows what kind of monstrosity we'd create if we tried to incorporate all of our designs. And would something that expensive actually sell? Smaller budget to focus the design. Yeah, let's go with that. That sounds good to me. But remember, this ship will have fewer bells and whistles. We're not going to be able to include everything we want. Frank's luxury design has the most expensive components, and we've been having trouble convincing him to move away from that idea so we can stay within the budget. My goodness, need help. people need Do you help. Think you can get him to budge. I am right here, you know. Persuade, yes, yes. L let's talk about what we can cut from your design. I already gave my answer to Jules. We cut nothing. <laughs> uh, I need to get a six toll. I can do it. I'm sure you'll be able to come to with lower budget. The board will take notice. I I'm going to uh, hold, hover this and do auto persuade. Hmm. <laughs> it might be a good challenge, actually. And if I impress them, they'll be willing to give me more to work with next time. Fine. I see what you're saying. Yay! Perhaps we tone down the luxury aspects a bit. Does it really need so much gold trim? Oh my gosh. Probably not. Gold trim? Great. That's one problem solved. I'll go forward with that budget proposal and we can move on. Next, we need to gather some market data. The best way to do this is to outfit your ship with some sensors and take it through some real world scenarios so we can make more informed design decisions. Which ship? 
Uh, what? Okay, what do I need to do with this? Great! Just pick up a mission or two at the mission board and proceed like you normally would. We'll collect the data when you return. Uh, okay. If you take on a variety of missions, we can build a ship to handle a variety of scenarios. But if you just fly one mission, we can build a more focused ship. It's up to you. In the meantime, you might also want to talk with the team, get to know them, give feedback on their proposals, etc. Good luck out there. All right. I don't like you, Ella. So, you're Walter's friend. I know he chose you to head this project as some sort of favor. Honestly, as senior technical designer, I was hoping to receive that honor, but um, <laughs> uh, there's always next time. Regardless, I'm excited to help you out. Do you have any experience building spaceships? <laughs> yes, yes I do. <laughs> Professional at this, this point. This is wonderful to hear. I hope for all of our sakes that you are not overselling your ability. Now, I know you've been asked to give feedback on our design proposals. Would you care for a brief synopsis of mine? Yes. Yes. Of course. But first, let me ask you this. What pilot demographic is currently being underserved by the current starship market? Um, let's see. Explorers, personal passenger shuttle. Hmm. No, but I feel like you're going to tell me. No. In fact, I believe Tayo Astroneering already attempted developing a fleet of autonomous limo ships and it did not go over well. My idea is a little less conventional. I believe we should invest in making a dedicated exploration ship marketed towards citizen scientists. Sure, we and other manufacturers have lines of exploration ships, but none built with the average consumer in mind. It's my hope that we can jumpstart a new era of affordable, accessible space exploration fueled by ordinary people like you and me. I'm sold. That sounds like a great idea. Thanks. Let me tell you, we would not regret going with my idea. I like your this idea. It's a chance to do something that will truly inspire future generations. All right. Okay, yeah. Bye. What about you, sir? Mike? I'm wondering if we need another chef in the kitchen. Then again, I hear Walter brought you in to finally make a decision around here. Yes, that's basically it. Has that been a problem? Uh, well, how do I put this? My co-workers are, are smart people. But between you and me, they're in way over their head with this project. I mean, Jules especially. She's new at being a project lead and has insisted we design by committee so everyone's voice is heard. Admirable. But no one could agree on anything and we're running significantly behind because of it. I'm glad to be a service then. Good. Just so long as you don't push us to make anything too nutty. I think your decisiveness will put us back on the right track. Speaking of which, I think my plan will get us where we need to be as quickly and efficiently as possible. It's simple, no frills, and most importantly, won't cause me any major headaches on the engineering side. I like you as well. Sounds like you're a win for our team. Go on. It's truth, and we need it. The others believe we need to think big and innovate. Reality is, we just need to do what we do better than anyone else. So I'm thinking, there's loads of fighters. No sense in mucking about with that again. And we've already got one of the best luxury liners in the biz. What I figure is, the cargo running business is booming. And no one's quite built a personal craft like that to serve the working class folk. Giant. Nothing fancy. No frills. Just a simple, sturdy, inexpensive ship with cargo room up the wazoo and make it so easy my cousin's little moppet could fly it. Seems simple enough. Any other design considerations? Our objective should be <laughs> to build a huge ship with plenty of cargo room while keeping the cost low. Doesn't need fancy equipment, just the basics. Basic weapons. Basic defenses, basic scanners. You get the idea. If we go with a design like that, I can focus on quality construction and the ship will practically sell itself. You're on the right track with this. Wait, 
Really? I was expecting we'd have to argue a bit more than that. <laughs> Dude. Well, that's a relief. Have you not heard of DoorDash? <laughs> I hope you're being sincere. Because if I can convince them to go with mine, it'd save us all a lot of trouble in the end. I hope we didn't scare you off, huh? This is going great. Just fantastic. You know, I have designed spacecraft for over 10 years. So, you must have really impressed Walter for him to give you this project. Or maybe it's a bit of nepotism. Or maybe you Never need someone to get that. something done. Perhaps he sees in you what he sees in me. Alright, what's yours? <laughs> you know what? I know you wish I wasn't here to give you big, so let's get this over with. I did not say that. Hmm. And yet, if we must play by corporate rules, perhaps my ideas will appeal to you more than my colleagues. Imagine a luxury craft designed for the most discerning of tastes. Every feature designed for comfort and peace of mind. High-end performance. Precision engineering. A spacecraft for those who wish to be seen. This will be the most elite personal craft on the market. <laughs> I had very just come out fever dreams. <laughs> How would we design a ship like that? The ship should be mid-size, spacious, but not bulky. We'll want to build it with the highest quality, most expensive modules available. It should feel safe, but not threatening. Focus on defensive measures, not aggressive weaponry. Above all, you should be able to picture your favorite celebrity, or Walter himself, flying this ship and influencing others to buy as well. I think you need to find your pitch a little better. Mm. <laughs> I think I understand what you mean. It is not enough to say it's a high-end luxury ship. Who is flying this ship? Where do they go? What is their story? And why do they crave such attention? Oh, thank you. I will think on this and improve on my proposal. That's okay. I'm still going to tell you now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See you. Um, hi. <laughs> need something? Uh, I'm supposed to give feedback about your design? Oh, you really want to hear my ideas? I mean, I have an idea, but it's not that great. Mm. I'm not even a designer or anything. How are you here? So, I was thinking that we could really use a recreational craft in our fleet. But not like super luxurious like our Adonis pleasure yacht, something marketed more towards families. Something mom and dad could pack up and take the kids on vacation. <laughs> You probably think that's stupid, right? No. <laughs> what would it take to design a ship like that? Hmm. I haven't thought of all the details, but I'd imagine lots of passenger space would be a top priority. A mid-sized ship with enough room for one, or, hmm, or maybe even two or three families to spread out and relax. I don't think you'd need any fancy weapons or scientific equipment, so it should be pretty affordable. Families don't want to spend a fortune, so keeping the cost low will help guarantee plenty of sales. I don't know how well it would sell. Oh, <laughs> really? Wow, I am... <laughs> Thank you. I'm really glad I told you about it. Well, if we end up making it, I swear I'll work up a hell of an ad campaign for it. Uh, see you later. Actually, the way I see it is, you should make four different ships. <laughs> Alright, that. so this is why there's a mission board here. Destroy Crimson Flea, transport workers to Palavo? Three workers to Hope... Oh, no, I'm not going to Hope Town yet. I will be going soon. Very soon. In fact, if this quest goes fast, transport workers to Red Mile. <laughs> uh, how many? I need... trans. I have six passenger space. I need to take four. Yeah, I'll, I'll take this. Mejo. Oh, 
Alright, well, we do both. Uh, I need to go to Red Mile first. Oh, and yes, I. Apparent. Yes, I did. I was able to name the ship Serenity. I had to buy a ship and it worked. So it's only the ships you steal and register that you can't rename. I don't know why. No clue why. Almost makes me want to sell my last ship. I, ha I still have it. Uh, just so I could rename it. R rebuild it and rename it. Alright, undock. Now I can pull it. All right, hold on. I stole a ship recently, so I need to re resupply power. I have so much power, I can put everything here. And, oh, I need to take, and I, I, I can take some off the uh, ballistics. And that'll be enough to have a decent, uh, where is it? Oh, that's a... Oh, okay. That's not too far. A decent grab jump time. The Gauss rifle... The Gauss... Eh, uh, Gauss cannon... Is not... Actually, hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah that's where I'm going. It is not my primary weapon. That's basically if I need to destroy a ship. I technically don't need it. Alright, that one's done. Alright, the Now as as close as I got it, I, I've i I've seen the cutscene when it comes to launching and stuff. And it doesn't look that bad. So, I'm not going to just quick travel. I'm going to take off. I mean, that right there looks perfectly fine. <laughs> I love my design. Alright, uh, oh, hello, there's a shipping crate right here. Oh, titanium, awesome. I actually need that stuff. Alright, now we are going... Where again? The Mayhaz... Worm. Oh, it's like right next to Cheyenne. Alright, um... All right, well, it's got to set course here first, and then it'll tell me where I gotta go. All right, where in the system am I supposed to be? Oh, duh. Uh, back up. Back up. Zoom in. No, not on the planet. Okay, fine. I'm not even going to board it. Let's just... just... Alright, what do you got? the shipyard.
<laughs> I can't believe I actually got something close to the snap together stuff for shipbuilding is great to help to actually build them but to try build serenity i actually want to take like a two by two module but i can't line it up in the middle of that i have to uh put it along like an individual side so it would be a lot tight. the only way i could get a middle would be a three by three but those things are big and fat <laughs> all right board came out of curiosity about specs. Well, we're making progress now, I guess. I can give you feedback on your design. Oh, yes, I actually do have a proposal. I wasn't really expecting you to give me feedback, but why not, I guess. I'd like to see us branch out a bit more in the Starfighter market. Oh, come Bounty on. hunting and mercenary work are both big these days, especially among the hard-blooded free stars. Uh, maybe work on your pitch. I'm not sure a consumer starfire would be You could be right. It. There's got to be a better way to pitch the idea. I'll give it some more thought. Thanks. Alright, we're done. What's next? So you managed to complete a couple different missions. This will give us lots of data to support building a ship that can tackle a variety of scenarios. Of course, if we build a ship like that, we may need the kitchen sink budget, but we'll see. Thanks for your help. Now, we just need to solve our interpersonal issues so we can agree on a design. Easy, right? <laughs> Alright, I'll get you everyone walking. You seem awfully confident for someone who doesn't know how long we've been dealing with this. I've tried everything I can think of besides some sort of hokey team-building exercise. So, what do you think you can do differently? To make sure everyone give up one compromise. Hmm. I can't believe I didn't think of that. It's fair. Everyone goes around the table and makes a cut. That way no one feels like they're the only one being asked to compromise. This should drive us towards a more focused design. And since Walter asked you to take the lead on this, I don't have to be the villain here. <laughs> so you're sure about this? Yeah, let's try. Great. Let's get ready to disappoint everyone equally. <laughs> <sighs> Well, here goes nothing. Okay, everyone. Our friend here, remember, not me, has decided in order to move forward, we're going to go around the table and everyone is going to give up one major aspect of your design. It's the fairest way to do this, and ultimately, I think it's going to make our collective design choices a lot easier. Who wants to start? <coughs> okay, fine. I'll go first. I'm willing to cut some of the included hard points. It'll mean less firepower, but the consumer can still add them afterwards, I suppose. Uh, you're looking at me, huh? I guess that means you want me to go. Oh, look, I'll be easy. You know I wasn't looking for anything fancy, but if I've got to make cuts, uh, we can reduce some of the cargo base. Uh... I guess we can cut some of the extra sensors and data collection equipment. As long as this thing can still make it to deep space and back with no problem, I'll be happy. Um, I'd be willing to give up some of the passenger space, maybe. Yeah, that should be okay. <laughs> Frank? <laughs> what? I already agreed to cut a significant portion of the luxury features, remember? I'd rather just cut I you. I shouldn't need to cut anything else. Well then. That wasn't so bad. I feel much more confident we can actually build this thing. All right, speak with Jules. Oh. Okay. We're all super glad you're here, right, everyone? Well, we are. Based on the decisions you made, it looks like we're going to end up with a very reasonable ship design. I have no worries about the feasibility of manufacturing and selling it. 
All right, anything else I can do? Now that we've addressed all our issues, we can move forward, finalize the design, and get this into production pretty quickly. If you could do us a favor and let Walter know that we're back on track, I'm sure he'll be thrilled. Thanks for your help. Oh, that's all? Okay. I can't believe Stroud. Quite awesome. They all should make one made their own designs rather than uh one conglomerate of ideas because you got the reasonable guy who's basically wanting to make space truckers like mo more independent space truckers totally on board the science focused one you should see about getting pre like actual orders for that type of thing the family recreational vehicle type you might do better with like a party bus style and the luxury guy? I mean, come on. You already have the luxury stuff. He, he can be cut anyway. Alright. Back to here. And I should get enough from doing this to get my level up. I really, 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 really would like to have... In case anyone is curious, uh, that legendary Rattler that I had before that gave me like a better chance of getting medkits, uh, I traded it out for this thing that it, before I put mods on it, uh, well, okay, it came with some mods. It had better damage as is. So I guess there's some sort of leveling system in there. All right, Stroud. Captain, I'm I expecting am fully big updated things from you and ready to on. assist with tasks. Good to hear. I figured as much. See, I just finished looking over the final design they sent over before you arrived. I've got to say I'm impressed with it. It's a bit safe, but also an elegant evolution of our past designs. I think it's going to be a great addition to our fleet. I'll be happy to make it my new personal ship. Additionally, I want you to have one of the first off the assembly line. For all of your hard work. Ooh, free ship. Okay, I won't Feel sell this free one. free to pick it up at the star yard. Thanks again. Go point. All right, mastered that. Look your new ship. Uh, set as active, please. Thank you very much. All right. Uh. Because it says active, I should be able to do the research. And this, the, the way, uh, these are blocked. Even though I got highs, I still have to get a special projects one for better mu for muzzle mods and battery mods. So that's tier four skills that will have to pop up at some point. All right. So the way I've been doing this is now I only have these two to deal with. Everything I'm missing, so in this one I need three lube. Alright. And I'm literally just working with like a sticky notepad right next to me, writing these things down. Alright, and then internal mod. Oh, I have something here. Uh, I have the titanium on me. Oh, yeah, because I hauled a bunch of that. Still have polymers? Alright. So I guess I need one power circuit. Uh, two zero wire. Europium? Sounds a bit British, but okay. Times eight. Alright, and Yitterbium? Uh, titanium's good, polymer's good. And, uh, now. And everything. And I'll probably end up unlocking more things after it as well. But, 
as much as I hate to say it, uh, one thing that the UC does have really, really good compared to Aquila resource purchasing. <laughs> the distribution center. Uh, please, please, please have the stuff I need. Hey, no funny stuff with that boost pack. No funny stuff with boost pack? Oh, fine. Yeah, I'll just fly over you. Aim to misbehave. Please, if you experience any... Welcome okay. to UC District... Stop the talking. Just... Let me see oh, your stuff. Well, certainly. Alright, bye. Resources. Alright, I need... Oh, uh, let, let's go to L first. Do you please tell me you have lubricant. Uh, lithium, lead, uh, luxury tech... Oh, crap. No, you don't. Alright, I'll have to find that somewhere. Uh, power cell. Thing is, you're not guaranteed to get anything on one of their cycles. And it takes two days to refresh. MNOP. You don't have what? Okay. All right, let's. Do you have Europium? Yes. And how much did I need before? I needed eight. Confirm on that. Yitter. YTT. 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 You do not have Yitterium. Uh, do you have zero wire? You don't have zero wire either. My goodness. Uh, hold on. Wait, wait. You have copper. Yes, you have copper. Uh, give me just, you know what? Just give me ten. And I need silver. Me ten. Back to it. All right. Uh, go back to lodge. Lodge, lodge, lodge. I may have to make that power circuit. Ooh, I think I know. Where I could get the yitter, like the ores I need. There was this, uh, I, I remember there was a mining store on Neon, which was a fishing platform, so, uh, wonderful. Alright, alright, down, down, down. Zero wire. Give me five. Alright, now, is it possible? No, I cannot make the power... Ooh, okay. So the power circuit thing, I gotta go find. Crap! Okay. Alright, uh, change it. Oh, I got some things. But. Alright, well, uh. Head to the spaceport. Alright, did you overwrite Serenity? You did not. Anything I can help you with? Uh, view and modify sure. modify my ships. It. Tier to three and Kepler six. You have no weapons on this thing. Alright. Uh cargo capacity is thirty thousand two hundred. The design ain't that bad, really. Uh, let's take a quick look at the rest stats. Uh, Max Crew 3. Yeah, you have no weapons on it. You got hard, ports for, hard points for them. I see things that could be taken off. Hope Tech Pikes aft. That's just adding mass. Oh, there's fuel. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's where those things would be used. Eh, not bad. 
I'm not gonna mess with it. Alright, real quick. Let's head to Neon. I haven't been attacked by... Uh, and we'll go Neon Core, because it's just faster. Alright. Alright, Terminal, where's that mining? Mining! Oh, yeah. There we go. So glad you stopped. Certainly, my friend. All right, get your resources. Please, 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 please. Yeterium. All right, and I needed four. Confirm. All right. Uh, you don't have other things in here, do you? Nickel, plutonium, copper. Nope, nope. All right, bye-bye. good of you to stop by, my friend. Um... Are there like... Oh, trader, sorry. Hello! If it's too hot to handle, we can take it off your hands. Oh, you'll take this yeah. stuff. Buying, selling, or moving. Uh... Well, good day to you too. Alright, smartass. Let's cut the bullshit. <laughs> you either walked into the TA to buy some goods, sell some goods, or have some liberated goods taken off your hands for a reasonable price. So... Instead of wasting my time making me explain how the business world works, let's get a move on. Dude, asshole. Liberate is my specific area. Now interest. that's what I'm talking <laughs> about. We both want to make some money, so what let me? Let's do some business. Always happy to take your money. Resources. Oh, please, 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 please. Power circuit. Yes, you had it. You have, you do not have lubricant. Oh, you have a ton of money. Hey, hold on, hold on. Uh, sell. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, I, I need to actually come here and sell. I've, I've kind of stayed away from Neon as much as possible. But what I ran into was I was running out of places to sell things at. This uh, kind of helped. Get the on. Yes, yes. All right. Um, a did no, no. I got enough weapons on me. Oh yeah, sell from ship inventory. That's where I put all the weapons. Oh, oh, I'm giving weapons for free. Bye bye. Time to move on. Yes. Uh, is there another shop around here? Oh, hey! Free Star Rangers. Uh, Link Coopers. Newell's Goods, yeah. Feel like making a purchase today? Yes. Best deals in town. Uh, uh you have money? Let me. You. Please, please, please. Lubricant! Yes, I just need. You know, just give me it all. <laughs> just, just give it all. Uh, was there anything else on the list? Uh, I have this. I made the zero wire. I got the loop. Nope, that's everything. Toxin structure, no spice, solvent, sedative, sealant, pigment. Actually, I should provide some sealant for our weapon upgrades themselves. They tend to get used. All right. Actually, hold on. Wait. Of course. I got weapons. Sell. I have a huge inventory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sell. Farm shit. That magazine is just <laughs> unnecessary. <laughs> All right, that's good. That's good. That's good. Thanks for stop. All right, uh, research terminal. Uh, I could go back to. Actually, I probably should go back to back to the lodge because it has everything I need. My ship has the crafting spot, but not the research spot. Civilian? No, no, no. Alright. Uh, 
We should stop by the lodge. I'm sure Constellation misses you. Nah, forget that. <laughs> oh yeah, um, I did, uh, did go to Barrett, to Sam, no, I just said Barrett, Sam's funeral. And they talks a lot, Barrett talked a lot. Eternal mods, this was the big one I wanted. Oh, you gave me the. Oh, come on, you made me buy the stuff for unnecessarily. Receiver mods, whatever I have, you. Go right ahead. Microsecond regulator? I have one? Okay. You can have all this. Because I did. Polymer. Don't have any. Lubricant. Oh, good. Oh, I bought. Hey, good thing I bought all of it. Alright, so I need polymer and the ytterbium. But this was for receiver mods. Receiver mods 2. Alright, so I, I had to do that because there's a. Uh, I was trying to upgrade my. This, this fella right here. The. And I was going for powered, but I had to have internal mods three. That's why I have the stuff for this. But this, th this, this little pistol that, the t this revolver pistol that I got called cowboy about, which I like, <laughs> which I like, uh, is now a 75 damage physical pistol. All right, receiver, semi automatic uh, no, never go for binary trigger. Oh, I don't like binary trigger. It's basically two shot burst. No. No, 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 no. Uh, optics. Close sight. Oh, I have the reflex sight on. Never mind. Right, well, I'll, I'll worry about finishing that layer, but I really wanted to get this thing maxed up to what I could. Alright, what quest to follow? Oh, wait, hold on. Uh... I still have the little dot saying I should go to the star yard. New Atlantis almost has it right. Alright. Uh oh, hold on. Hold on. I know what's happening. You want me to accept this? Got ship. anything you need to offload? Trade authority? Okay, no problem. Kepler six? Yep, that wow, okay, that is huge. You should inspect your ship for Okay, no problem. Alright, back to Sarandi. Hold on, is there anything on Sarandi? Yep, the miscellaneous stuff is back. Alright. Uh, I don't need all this now. Um, aid, that, that. You have money, so you might as well sell. Yeah, that was fine, because I've only... Oh, wait, I sold all three. Crap. Oh, well, never mind. I have a ton of cash. Alright, quest size. Alright, I'm at 49 minutes. Um, one wire, right, one ranger. I mean, I could start down here, because, uh, not counting the activities, I mean, this is the oldest stuff I have. But I kind of want to focus on this, especially since, uh, uh, this is where Marika's from. I mean, I, I went through her whole speech dialogue, she's from there. She didn't like how things were, let's uh, go to the cockpit.
fucking scan. Alright. No quest point. Level way to go. Off to Hope Town. Oh, no, no, wait, I didn't. I'm on Revelation. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I gotta be careful with that. Alright, uh, since I haven't been here before, I have to set course first. you help her if this is free star space you're good to go all clear to land at hope town all right so i'm getting i'm getting signaled as soon as i get here all right, well, well let's board this is part of the hope is built quest okay follow the dot we go. Please tell me you're here to help, not to try and steal my ship. <laughs> steal this piece? The prayer would eat up my profits. No, I'm the new deputy. <laughs> uh, Marshall sent me to find you and need your help. <laughs> oh, you need my help. Uh, I'd laugh if it didn't hurt so much. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. Alright, I'll get you flying. Just patch her up enough to get to Hope Town. The rest can get fixed up there. On it. Thanks. I owe you one. Repair it? Uh, oh! Okay, I, I thought you wanted me like use repair kits. Alright. So since when do you actually have to repair ship by going to places in it? Alright, gotta go down. I'm always suspicious when they want you to do stuff like this because it's to take you away from somewhere, usually. Thanks. That should get me home. Alright. You're right. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. We can't let that happen. All right, where are they handed? They look <laughs> to be heading for Polvo's Moon Miatha. Good hunting. All right. All right, to the cockpit. Undock. Where is this? Oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, still looks all right. We got you now. Yeah, you do.
<laughs> Why not? Shit. Might as well make this close and personal. Alright, well, zoom in. Board. A lot, but I was just standing there being shot. Okay. Liquid cool cavalry space truck. Okay. I'll take all that stuff. Uh, yeah, the bear stocking up on the beer sells decently. All right. If I shoot them inside the ship, I get experience. Uh, hold on. I need to sleep. Captain's quarters! Destroy the outlaws. All right, yep. Go to Hooktown. I love it. I got Serenity. Approaching ship. You've entered Freestar Collective space. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. Yeah. Okay. Sure. 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 Marika? <laughs> I want to I want I want to listen to her reactions. Because the way she said these people are being exploited. Almost like Janestown. here now so I can actually access the vendors. <laughs> What's the gravity? 0.8. Okay. I want a smaller backpack. Hey, what can I do for you? Alright, first, uh, you have money, so I'm going to sell. Sell from the ship first. Yeah, all the stuff. <sighs> I find this one legendary and then nothing else can compare to it. Peril. Uh, that can go. Uh, random aid things. Alright, well, that'll have to do. Alright. Oh, same as usual. Except now all she does is goes on and on about how her youngest has made it. 
tells everyone you met THE Ron Hope. I mean, Ron Hope's, well, friendly. And incredible. But everyone on the factory floor bumps into him on occasion. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> My brother. Big shot at I don't want to hear any complaints. Rangers. As One it... hopes the best thing to happen to us. Excuse me. Excuse me. A little desperate here. This is such a long shot. All right, Adela. Deep breath. What's wrong? <sighs> oh, God. Uh, you wanted to talk to me? Right. Talk. Right. <laughs> when I signed on to be a freight captain, I was expecting long hours and dull routes. And now I'm a hair away from being executed. Or worse. Wait, what? I'm a captain too. <laughs> uh, what happened? Where to start? Yeah, what happened? So... I fly a rust bucket called the Markab for a small shipping line. It just started, really. We do bulk shipping, boring stuff like actuators and seed stock and minerals. Have you ever had a standard boring job just blow up in your face? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, lots of people use it, giving shit. A week ago, I would have said something <laughs> different, but yes. Absolutely. Your teeth need some so, work. So I just got assigned to the Markov. The first shipment, slag steel. Nothing special. As soon as I left Neon and got scanned, things got crazy. Spacers, free star security, the works. Everyone demanding I power down, hand over the contraband, or sometimes just firing first. I skipped the system, ditched the cargo, and have been running ever since. Uh, what were you actually shipping? I don't know. I was just flying for my life. But some bad people want it. Alright, that is really tough. How do I figure into this? I'm getting to that part. Sorry. <laughs> a tracker just landed, and I just know he's hunting a bounty. Me. But the trick is, everyone knows the ship. But my info isn't in the database yet. All they got is my last name, Fahim. So if you go into the pit stop and claim your Captain Fahim of the Markab... Maybe you can deal with the tracker. Why do they only know your name? The company is, well, a real train wreck. I'm amazed they even have my last name on file. For once, working for such a dump is a good thing. All right, let's help you out. You are the best. Where is he? This slate has everything they know about me. It's not much. He's the one with the cowboy hat. Just stay safe. Thank you. Actually, yeah. Oh, I'm jumping this one real quick. Keep an eye on your valuables. You can't protect your... The pit stop is a bar. <laughs> I can almost smell the corruption in the air. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, stranger. I'm new in town. You look like you just got here too, right? What's your name, stranger? Might buy you a drink. Captain Fahim. Fahim, huh? Came in on that ship to Markov. I bet you didn't know it. But I'm a tracker. And I'm here for your bounty. Two ways this can go. You know the truth. Are you gonna shoot me here? You got me. I'm very surprised. Yeah. They never see me coming. But something don't sit right with me. Not sure what. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, I just need four? Everyone's after your shipment, whoever's hiring you is lying. And all I have to back that up are words. Yeah. Just trying to do the right thing. You do seem trustworthy for some reason. 
You're the one says, fellas, but trust your gut. Something doesn't add up. All right, I'm not taking you in. But that just means somebody else will. I'm used to that. Whatever you were shipping, you got to return it. The next tracker probably won't be as upstanding as I am. Unfortunately, my actual name is Ness, and I don't have the shipment. Whatever you say, Fahim. You almost sound believable. One more drink, and it's lift off. As vital as spaceships are to themselves. All right, I am intrigued, but I'm not leaving hope for it. If they send people after me, that's perfectly fine. This can't be. I feel sick. I feel like I can finally breathe again. Thank you. They will send more. You yeah, definitely they will think? send. I mean, of course they will. Oh God. I don't mean to be ungrateful and all, but I really, really need to go. Thank you. Oh, I don't have to go get the stuff? Oh, perfect. I have to go. Like, now. I mean, maybe. Why not just Since run? Since the tracker's on world, I'm sure he's got eyes on the Mark Hob. It's just too dangerous. All right. I actually expected I'd have to go get it myself. Alright. Uh, okay, it went back to where Hope is built. Okay. Yes? Alright. If I recall, the Rangers wanted me to be very, 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 very careful because there's a political issue here. Let's keep it quick. I don't want to be here any longer than we have to. I get that. But you might know somebody. You made it. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust? No trouble at all. Good. I'm sure it didn't hurt that I softened them up for you. You've got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. The Marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. Uh, let's just go meet his Ron office Hope. is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. Wait. <laughs> okay, I was thinking, I was a little worried that they were scanning. I'm guessing my, the uh, Marshal already told you this, but guns. I'll say it anyway. Ron Hope isn't just the founder and president of Hope Tech, he's on the Council of Governors. Yep, the council oversees the Free Star Rangers, so don't rile him up. Uh, I've spent a long time trying to build a good relationship with Hope. <laughs> he comes on a little strong, but there's a lot to admire about the man. Everything you see around you, he built. Pretty much everyone in this town owes him for their livelihood. Can't begin to imagine the kind of pressure that must put on someone. Marika, um, you want to say something on that? Try to show a little respect. Marika, you got your input on this? All the way up. Is it just me, or does every executive in the settled systems have an office on the top floor? Uh, I guess being above everyone makes them feel like they're, well, <laughs> above everyone. That, and if that someone comes fighting in, they got time to get out. Contract with scavengers, maybe, but that's a decision that's got to be made upstairs. Hmm. Well, talk to Elaine about the scavengers. It's not a bad idea, provided we get a good deal. And I don't mean a fair deal. I mean a good deal. Remember, it's not just our bottom line that matters. We're also responsible for the welfare of everyone in the factory. We Look out for our people here, Virgin. That's uh, the point. Marika? Marika? What are you doing? Pride. Um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well, now, the Free Star Rangers. At last! <laughs> ah, damn. Good to see you. 
I think we're done here, Burchard. Yes, sir. This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid. Splendid! It's a noble calling, being a Free Star Ranger. Mm, we certainly could use more of you. Okay, I gotta go around because the talk wasn't Let's pumping up. To it, shall we? Time is money. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. Oh, justice must be done, and the sooner the better. I found your stolen ship on Montre Luna. That's good news. I'll send my people over to bring it home. I was trying to myself. <laughs> of course. That doesn't mean your work is done. I want the thief found. And prosecuted to the full extent <laughs> of the law. <laughs> I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors. Uh, yes, sir, Mr. Hope, you can count on me. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind. Hmm? Delivered to a group of men who are trying to acquire a farm. Yeah, a group of mercenaries hired a thief to steal your ship. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Sadly, there's no lack of mercenaries in the settled systems. I suppose the chance to cut costs by stealing a ship was too good to pass up. Well, I'm... Not sure I can be much help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. Uh. We had inside help. Happen to what? Nonsense! We vet our people thoroughly here. Hotech holds its employees to the very highest standards. Nevertheless, I suppose I could have Cosette conduct a, a thorough personnel review. <laughs> Rest assured, if we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice, I'll let you know. All right, uh, why didn't anyone report that? Because I told them not to. Oh. If word got out, it would do irreparable harm to our image. I'm in fierce competition with other Starship manufacturers. Any sign of weakness could be fatal. Uh, what's more, every starship thief in the settled systems would, would likely flock to Hopetown and start planning the next heist. Was there anything unique about the stolen No, ship? nothing at all. It was just a, a standard Hope Tech cargo hauler. Not that it didn't have great value, mind you. Hope Tech build some of the most durable and reliable starships in the settled systems. Now you can bet my ships last twice as long as anything Stroud Eklund makes. Uh, anyone see the thief? We questioned everyone who was in the building when it happened, and not one person seems to have seen anything at all. Frankly, I think that's both highly unlikely and more than a little suspicious. However, I can't deny there are times when the hangar is empty, so it's not inconceivable the thief could have slipped in unseen. All right, well, that's it. Very well. I need you to understand something, Deputy. Yeah. This town is home to men, women, and children who depend on Hope Tech for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust, and my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. You can count on my discretion, Mr. Hope. I'm glad we understand one another. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Hope. There's been a development. Not now, Cosette. I'm in the middle of something. But, sir, we have new information. I've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at Neon just after the theft. 
A breakthrough at last. Well, deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon, which means I can get back to work. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on you. Hey, can I get a word? Um, we're leaving here, right? <laughs> That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. That's enough to go on. Let's hope. So, guess you're headed for Neon. There's a ranger station there. Name's Jalen Price. He's a little different than the rest of us. But a Neon's a different kind of place. Jalen Price. Got it. He should be able to help you out. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. Thanks for staying up with me. <laughs> no problem. Good luck on Neon, Deputy. Ooh, 12,000 credits. I think I go back. I hope you're having a great visit to Hope. Actually, lift off. I want to try to find the. Uh... <laughs> they don't care if I just fly over them. <laughs> uh, if there's a trade authority salesman or some sort of shop. Nothing ever good comes from them. That's defense. Oh. Just keep it holstered. Get along fine. Weapon shop. You'll do. You here for commerce? Or another board tourist. Some rules. If there's one place there's some law and order in this town, it's here. Don't even think about stealing anything. No haggling. The price is the price. And might be some other rules. Don't be an ass. You must get high marks for customer service. <laughs> Good rules. Respect Then we won't have any problems. If you need weapons, the best defense is the only yeah. place in town. You may be thinking this place is a dump, but the hardware isn't. Dude. Lots of customers pass through. We got something for everyone. All right, let's see what you have. What are you looking for? All right. Uh, mainly I'm looking to sell that, that, and that. All right, most of the weights. Um, well, let's just sell all this stuff. If I need it, I'll find it. Uh, aid. All 14 loops. Crossbow can go. Heart. That can. Neurojack. Rich French. Snake oil. Squall. Set the meat chicken. Alright, that should do. Oh, there's still guns on Serenity. Oh, you don't have it. Oh, you can take that one. Right. Um, I want your ammo. Of two types. And then you have... Oh, okay. I'm thinking that the name Advanced that is the what's telling you if it's better or not. I mean, I, there's a whole category called Refined. Modified and calibrated, modified, refined. So I'm thinking advanced is, but I don't know if it's better or worse. I want to actually have a straight comparison if I can. Oof. <laughs> that lawgiver get, does a lot of law giving there. Oh my. Advanced coachman, 273. Yeah, um, I. My pistol's fine. Payday is always a good day. Actually, hallway. I sold. I bought ammo so I can sell. You ready to do some business? Yeah. Hopefully, something catches your eye. Yeah. Uh, um. 
sell from ship. You don't have enough to sell that, but you got enough to sell that one. Aid, no. Notes, no. I don't know why that was on ship. Land. Alright. I need to go to Neon. Neon's on this planet. Because it's basically a water world. Yeah, there's no resources you can really get because it's a water world. Authority. Where was the Rangers? Ah. Frank Rennick's all in a twist because his robot got vandalized. We had a good laugh about it back at the station. <laughs> yeah, look. Hey, I don't care who you work for. You can't just. Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? Uh, you must be ready to price. The one and only. Well, the marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here. But this city is real good at keeping its secrets, even from us. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. You're not listening. <laughs> this isn't the Keela City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace, and make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. Uh, I won't cause trouble. Good. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know Billy Clayton does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cause credits, nothing in neon is free. All right, take me. Come on. So are we going to the spaceport or are we going somewhere else? Where are we going? That was pretty impressive how you volunteered to help out with the bank heist in Aquila City. How do you know about that? Yeah, I read all the reports. You learned quickly that in Neon, staying informed and staying alive are closely linked. What stood out to me was that you didn't lose a single hostage. No wonder the Marshal tried to recruit you right away. If he hadn't, would have made him look like a fool having some random stranger step in and do the job he couldn't. Now, if someone tried to hold up a bank. Oh, come on. <laughs> but you understand that, don't you? That's why you just told me that you won't cause trouble. Keep that in mind, you'll fit right in. Oh boy. I'm gonna catch something just walking through here. Sleep crates. Frankie's grab and go. Food drinks open. Oh, it must be that guy. Standing out too much. 
Hey, Billy. You got a second? What? Oh, it's you. Give me a good scare. I thought you were one of Goodman's people. Check. Far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case, and I thought you might be able to help. Take it away, rookie. Okay. What do you need? Uh, Stone hoped I should land here recently. I need information on the pilot. Hmm. A stolen Hope Tech ship, huh? Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. You know what I mean? Maybe this will drive. Mm, credits ain't really what I need. There is something you can do for me. I can help you. But right now my life is in danger and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Our job, you yeah. need to hear this. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. <laughs> I could persuade, but you know what? I can end this guy. I swear it on my best set of wrenches. Goodman's holed up in one of the warehouses on Ebside. Place is locked up tight, but there's a guard who watches the door, and he's got the key. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. They're not stupid enough to tangle with me. Works for me. <laughs> I got the key. <laughs> Never even bought that shotgun. Wait, hold on. Oh, up here. Oh, elevator. Gotcha. And who needs a key, really? What the hell is this? Was that an ad? I don't have to run to this place. Oh, hello. Uh, it's safe. All right, first let's see if I can talk my way in. This is private property. You'd better keep walking. This is private property. Uh, I need to get in there. It's port. I'm going to persuade because he said the badge don't do much. Do you now? Uh, just need four. I understand you can't live. Rules are rules. The answer oh, come on. still no. No one else needs to know. I mean, it might be okay. Oh, you... I don't like your tone. Maybe you got hearing problems. I don't. Just need a quick word with boss. As long as you behave yourself and don't overstay your welcome, I don't see the harm in a quick visit. Here, this will get you in. <laughs> I mean, I'm okay paying credits because right now I'm sitting on 108,000 and I built Serenity, so I'm good. <laughs> A new customer, perhaps? Yes. Well, now, always happy to have a visitor. Tell me, what brings you by, friend? A little light on credits, are you? I hear you're trying to collect for debt from Billy Clayton. Ah, oh, it's awful kind of you to intervene on my behalf. But I think I have the matter well in hand. Thank you all the same for your concern. Billy well, can't pay that, you know it. Let this one go. If you're attempting to appeal to my good nature, you're proceeding under a false premise. I'm probably going to just pay his debt. in my line of work, it doesn't exactly pay to be soft. What's your stake in this anyway? I need inf information, Billy. 
<laughs> well, I'm afraid that's just none of my concern. Right. Oh, uh, we can try the persuade first. Then offer me something I want, and I'll consider it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I have an eight stock shot here. Right. They, they might hold a grudge. Let's Ooh. just calm down now. I mean, my pistol's loaded. They scared. Scared people do desperate things. I was crazy once. I know all about that. Uh, duh, duh, duh. bad side of rangers could come back to haunt you. Ain't yes, no need for that. I couldn't get through the door, I but I could do that. I could make an exception. It's just this once, you understand. It just promise me you'll keep my compassionate nature a secret. Folks might try to take advantage. Yeah, well, that's good. <laughs> I can't believe it's like I had to bribe my way in, but I You better watch it. If I wasn't on official business I'd go take a bounty. You gotta be careful when doing that. <laughs> I don't need to just fly off the ledge. Right. What the hell? Oh, wait, this way. Clover over at Kelport? She's too good for me. I just run through, I get more activities. Which means more quests. Did you talk to Goodman? Yeah, you're... I persuade him to forgive the debt. Yeah. I figured he wouldn't want to make an enemy of the Freestar Rangers. Glad the badge still means something around here. Yeah. Hmm. The Syndicate doesn't worry all that much about the Rangers. I think our new deputy here is just a real smooth... Talker. I did talk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Time for me to keep my end of the bargain. I should probably put the next the skill point in persuasion. Woman you named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit. And she's been throwing money around, so must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. Make it sound like this is gonna be bad. But we walked it. Madame Savage. I think that was the place I saw. Yeah, this place. Look, I ain't gonna stand around here all day, right? You want the stuff or not? Still interested, but you're asking almost double the going rate. What? You think this stuff falls from the sky? Look, I've bought Aurora on the street before, and I've never paid this much. Still cheaper than buying it at the Astro Lounge. Now, this is the last time I'm gonna ask. Then I'm walking away. Do you want this stuff or not? Fine, fine. I'll transfer. <laughs> okay, hello. Quick save. Well, look who's here to spoil my day. A Freestar Ranger and his... What are you? A sidekick or something? Freestar Ranger also. Well, I'm sure your mom is real proud. So how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the Ranger? This is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. You're in trouble, Grace. <laughs> You're gonna need to start taking it seriously. All right, I just need information. Aw, ain't you polite. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? I know you stole the ship and people might be in danger. Need your help. Oh, you just 
You jacked the ship from Hope Tech. No bar denying that. So I stole a ship. Nobody got hurt. I didn't even keep the damn thing. It was a contract. I was hired to get it for some men. Don't even know where it is now. It was just a job. You provide me some mercenaries to intimidate and threaten and some people. <laughs> All I did was provide them with transportation. They didn't say anything about where they were going or why. Yeah. I, look, I wouldn't have gotten involved if I thought anyone would be hurt. I've got no love for violence. Not yeah. asking questions is just as bad as giving consent. If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I, You may not care for violence, I but I'm fine with it. All right, enough small talk. Tell me which one you know. It's not that simple. <laughs> uh, uh, this is a six slot one. Uh, let's jump four four. It's important. Hard yes. Hard to argue with that. Uh, oh, doubles. I know you'd like to help me if you could. Sorry. Oh, come on. Uh, I can. I know you have a green. Just trying to help. Look, yes. I'd I like failed a help, green one. But No deals till I get some answers. All right, fine. I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. Haven't heard from her since. Maya Cruz. Alright. Did she say where she was being treated? No, but it sounded serious. She was upset. Seemed kind of shaken, you know? Didn't seem right I should pry, so I didn't. Yeah, but she needed for the help tech ship. Only some kind of offhanded comment about their client wanting to expand the operation ahead of schedule. In my line of work, you learn not to ask a lot of questions. It tends to make people uncomfortable. All right, go on. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here, take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? Uh. Ch -ch -ch. Did anyone in the first give you a way to contact them? No. Nothing at all. Left me feeling a little disappointed, given how well they paid me. Uh. What do, you know, what do you know about the men you delivered the ship to? Nothing, really. I was told when and where to meet them. They paid me what I was owed, and that was it. All right. Hey, appreciate your cooperation. Yeah, sure. Next time you're at The Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone can crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm going to head back. Good luck, deputy. Then I'm free to go. Oh, yes. You're free. Thank you for your help. <laughs> oh. Uh, you're welcome. Guess I ain't used to the law being so polite. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to be against her on the whole ship jacking thing. I tend to do that in space, but it's against pirates, so it, it's a little different, I guess. All right, back to Aquila City. Actually, uh, I'm at 1.39, so I should probably go ahead and cut the episode. I really shouldn't be playing more. <laughs> just just because I... Uh, <laughs> it's a school night, and it's already getting close to midnight. Uh, <laughs> and I've already been up too late the past two nights <laughs> i'll watch your back if we're headed out of town it's dangerous beyond the walls uh no no, no it's fine it's fine uh 
Is this trade authority restocked on the cash? No, it is not. So that means most of the shops here are not either. Or the ones I go to, at least. <laughs> Saw your ship come in. Yes. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, slate taken care of so I have an idea where I'm supposed to go next before I end this episode. Private sector. That's where the real money's at. Oh, he's really high up in the stairs. Okay. Hey, deputy. What power am I on? Deputy! Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? What's up stopping you from traveling? Oh, I can't fly anywhere. Issues with my Eustachian tubes. Being in a pressurized environment is like someone taking a laser cutter to the sides of my head. It's not great. But at least I can pretend to visit the party capital of the galaxy by having you tell me about it. Yeah, I bet. It just sounds so exciting and so stimulating. Probably makes Aquila City look like the more boring backwater town in the settled systems by comparison. Alas, I'll have to experience it vicariously through you and the other rangers. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? Give the slate. Uh, need your help encryption. Ranger Price says you can crack this encrypted Did slate. Did he now? Well, in that case, challenge accepted. It's only a matter of time before I know every dirty little secret stored in this thing. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. All right, counting on you. You're counting on me. You know I outrank you, right? Please and thank you go a long way when addressing your betters, rookie. All right, talk to Daniel Blake. Uh... I need a word. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Uh, track down a thief with the Ranger Price's help. Yeah, ship checker named Grace Early. Grace Early? Yeah, I've heard the name once or twice. Sounds like you're making real progress. Eh. Uh, make me want to track down the first. Good. Stay focused on the task at hand and don't take your eye off the target. That's how a Ranger should think. What did you learn from the starship thief? Uh, scored big time. Got names of two high-ranking first members, Maya Cruz and Marco. Well done, deputy. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I could give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. Box ticking. Let's talk about what's next. All right. How can I help? All right, where would someone go for long-term medical treatment? Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. Ooh, I think I've seen that. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead has posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. All right, Marco's keeping looking. How can I find Around him? the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now, looking into the smuggling Ooh. operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. Well, that's enough to go on. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. 
What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't gonna get a warm welcome, so be careful. Good hunting, deputy. Good, 12,000 credits, okay. On the run, go to the Red Mile. So I'm probably... So I probably am going to get more of these uh, slates by following these trails. Oh, okay, so I got two. The Red Mile or Clinic at Revelation go away. Uh, hmm. Well, we might have to go to the Clinic. I mean, catching someone uh, in long-term recovery, I mean, what type of fight could they put up, really? <laughs> but I'm kind of uh, overdue for cutting this episode, so I'm gonna go ahead and end Never it here. I should really get to sleep, so I'll, I'll probably get the next episode nice, fresh, uh, after another day of school. At least it'll be a Friday night, I won't have to worry about it. Oh, wait, I got my favorite. <laughs> my favorite streamer is gonna be uh, running Friday, so. Uh, well, and he'll be doing this game, so I. Not double time ain't gonna be a thing. Anyhow, for those who have stuck around, thank you very much. I'm in Cameron, hobbyist on YouTube, and I wish you all a good night.